Good morning, it's Tuesday the 22nd of November and it's uh, great to start the morning with a cup of coffee with you as well as with God. If you have your Bible, turn to 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 17. Uh, I'm going to read verse 16 just to give the context. Paul's writing at the end of this letter to Timothy and he says, you know, terrible things have happened and he, he, he asks for some help and he asks for some things to be brought to him. And uh, verse 16, he says, at my first offense, no one supported me, but all deserted me. May it not be counted against them. Now that in itself is quite tragic. Um, everybody deserted him. He felt so alone. And that got me thinking about just about every of the great names in the Bible experience times of loneliness, of desertion, of of being just left alone to cope with themselves. Think of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego thrown in the fiery furnace, Daniel in the lion's den, Abraham uh, twice his, his wife is taken and uh, he leaves family, he's called to leave family and go off to a foreign land. Um, Paul Obviously, uh, in the New Testament, Peter feels lonely. But listen to what he says in verse 17. He says, in the midst of this desertion, when nobody, nobody stayed to help me, but the Lord stood with me and strengthened me so that through me the proclamation might be fully accomplished and that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was rescued out of the lion's mouth. Um, but the Lord was with me and strengthened me. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. And that got me thinking. The Lord, Jesus Christ, experienced the ultimate desertion, the ultimate rejection when he was hung on the cross. Nobody stood up for him. And for somebody who had been in relationship, who knew God's presence from eternity's beginning, Right through, on the cross, cries out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Probably the, the bitterest cry of loneliness ever uttered by any human being. Because he'd known fellowship and sweet communion and the presence of God in his life, his whole, the whole of eternity. And at a point in, in eternity... He hung on a cross, taking on your sins and my sins, and that caused him to be deserted, to be alone. It's no wonder he says, I will never leave you nor desert you. I will never forsake you. And because he himself had endured absolute and total aloneness. Now just think about that. And think about the opportunities that you and I have. Paul says here, they all deserted me, and may it not be counted against them. You and I have opportunities to stand with, stand up, be with, pray with, pray for, just stand in the gap for people. Yeah, in this week, I pray that the Lord will bring someone across your path or an opportunity across your path where you can reach out and connect with someone. It's all about connection. It's all about making sure that the other person's story gets heard for what that story is. And, and I pray that you take every opportunity, just as you realize that God will never leave you. God say, I shall ons nooit alleen los nie. I shall ons nie verlaat nie. Hoor dit vir oog en besef dit en beleef dit in elke oomblik van elke dag. Daar waar jy alleen voel onthou, die Heere is met jou. Paul says here, but the Lord stood with me and strengthen me. May the Lord stand with you and strengthen you in your every moment. And uh, a cup of coffee and a lonely time is always a good thing. It just seems to comfort. Um, so make another cup of coffee. Come and connect. Come and have a cup with me. Come and chat about uh, maybe a hurt and a rejection and a loneliness that you felt at some or other time. But above all, have a wonderful wonderful Tuesday.